in today's video i'm going to show you how to do high-end skin retouching for beginners in photoshop if you're new to retouching or now starting up as a beginner then this video will be of great help to you just follow along and let's learn together my name is the core and welcome to this channel kindly subscribe if you're new here and drop a like on this video too it means a lot to me now let's get started So first off, we're going to create our frequency separation adjustment layers by pressing and holding Ctrl and J twice. This is going to duplicate the background layer as you can see over here. So we're going to name layer 1 as color and then layer 1 copy as texture. And secondly, we're going to select the color layer and then hide the texture layer. And we're going to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So we're going to set the Gaussian blur radius over here. So just make sure you're not seeing any sharp details in the image as you can see over here. So we're going to keep it as 3.8 and we're going to select OK. Then we're going to select texture layer, make it visible. Then come to image, apply the image. On layer, we're going to set this to color. We're going to keep the channel at RGB and then change the blending mode to subtract. Now we're going to change or keep the scale at 2 and the offset at 128 as you can see over here and then select OK. Now we're going to change the blend mode over here to linear light that is on the texture layer. Alright so now we have our image back to how it was before. So we're going to press and hold control and then select the color layer and then put it in a group by pressing again Control and then G to put them in a group. We're going to change the name of the group to frequency separation. All right, so now we have created our frequency separation adjustment layers. So we're going to select the color layer and then create a blank layer in between the color layer and then the texture layer. We're going to name this as zones. All right, so now we're going to select the color layer like this. We're going to zoom into our image. But before that, if you want this action, I have it over here. I have it in my online store. You can just download it and then try your hands on. All right. That is if you want to create this settings very fast. All right. So I'm going to hide this and then select the color layer. I'm going to select the lasso tool on the left side. Zoom into our image a little bit. So we're going to start smoothing our image. So we're going to select or circle around the portions of the image that we want to smooth in. Right click, select Gaussian Blair. Before that, we're going to come to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blair, and then we're going to set the Blair radius over here. So I'm going to set this to 7.8 like this. I think it's too much. Yeah, 6.4 is okay for me on this image. So I'm going to select okay like this. Zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to click outside to deselect and make sure the lasso tool feather is on 2.4 pixels. Right. So we're going to continue. I'm going to select this side of the face. Right click and then select Gaussian Blair. We've already set the Gaussian Blair radio. So any parts that we set or we 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 apply Gaussian Blair on is going to repeat that settings or that Gaussian Blair radius that we've set already initial. All right, so we're going to continue. All right, so I'm going to speed up this side because it's the same thing that we're going to be repeating over and over. So I'm just going to speed it through. All right, so we have some level of smoothness going on on our image over here with the lasso two skin smoothing that we just did. I don't know if you can see it, but let me just zoom this side and then let's check the before and after. There's the before and there's the after. All right, so we have some kind of smoothness going on at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and then make our skin even much smoother. All right, so we're going to use the mixer brush tool to do this. Alright, so you click on the mixer brush to zoom into our image like this. 
And there's a sentence that I'm going to use to do this, right? So you can just copy and then just repeat or set your, your settings, your mixer brush tool settings to this, and then you can use it, right? So I'm going to still select the color layer and I'm just going to gently brush on the tones of the image like this. Once again, make sure you don't spread your, um, you don't spread the tones into other tones. If you're doing the highlights, make sure you do, you, 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 you're mixing only the highlights. If you want to mix the mid-tones, make sure you're mixing only the mid-tones as well. All right, so you're going to do it gently like that to keep mixing. All right, so as you do it, always make sure to zoom in and out to check the progress that you're doing. Because when the image is zoomed in, there might be some places that you are over editing that you might not see. So it's always best that you zoom out to check and see how your image is looking. So, right, you're going to continue doing this to all the parts that you want to smooth in. As you can see, I'm done with the face. So I'm going to go to her body now. You're just going to brush gently as I did on the face. You're going to repeat this to all her body to make sure every side is looking smooth and consistent. Once again, if you want this action, you can find the link in the description below. You can check out in my online store and then just download it to also help the channel. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't yet. If you're still here, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking and staying to this far. Now, I think the skin is okay for me. Now, we're going to move to her lips and decrease the size of the brush. So we have some pimples on the lips over here and we're going to take care of that in a moment. So we're going to reduce the, the size of the brush, zoom into our image. As you can see, there's a highlight over here. So I'm going to extend this highlight by just painting over it like this and then just brushing this color in. So you're going to do it gently. So with the pimples over here, we're going to come to the texture layer and we're going to select the spot healing brush too. Then we're going to zoom in a little bit and then just dab on, on it like this to clean it up. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and then just clean it up like this. All right, so as you can see, our image is looking very good. It's looking nice. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Let me zoom in. This is the before and this is the after. As you can see, there's great difference in our image from where we started to where we are now. So right now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and then smoothen it a little bit further. But this time around, we're gonna do everything on the texture layer. We're gonna smoothen or clear some parts that we don't really like on the texture layer that is the textures so we're going to use the spot healing brush to, to do this so whenever you see something like this you're just going to tap and it's going to clear it up 
we're gonna go ahead and then check everything on the face and then make sure we remove any unwanted texture on her face. Zoom out. So this is how our image is looking. It's looking much better, much smoother, more nicer than where we started. This is the before and this is the after. This is the before and then the after. So we're going to move to the tones. So over here, we're going to smoothen our, our image much better. We're going to even out the tones in our image. So we're going to select the brush tool like this. Then decrease the opacity. Always make sure soft rounded brush is selected. That's what we're gonna use to do this. So that's this one right here, All right? So I'm gonna increase the brush by pressing the open bracket key, sorry, the close bracket key. Zoom into our image like this. We'll decrease the size a little bit. We'll decrease the size of the flow the flow sorry and then decrease the opacity the smoothest at 10 percent is okay so we're gonna press and hold alt click and then just gently brush on the image like this this is gonna create more smoothness so gently brush Move to this side, sample, and then this brush. Let me show you the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. I know you can't see anything, but there's some changes going on. All right, so. Keep balancing things up on the image. So this is the before and this is the after. If you feel like the effect is too much, it's just going to decrease the opacity like that. This is the before and this is the after. Now let me zoom in. As you can see, our image is looking much better now. All right, guys. So this is how far I'm going to bring you on this video. Hope you loved it and hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed, it's kind of hit the subscribe button. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Check out other videos on this channel. See you guys later. Bye bye for now.